So this is a quick little ukulele tutorial on how to play what I would call a 50s, kind of like ballad or slow dance progression with finger picking on a ukulele. My journey with ukulele is I came to it from playing guitar for decades, so I think I'm always looking for things on ukulele that are beyond just strumming simple chord progressions or pop songs, trying to find things to do on it that uh, remind me of things I could do on guitar. I'm not trying to replicate my guitar experience on ukulele, but what, I'm, what I would say is I'm trying to replicate the breadth of my guitar experience on this new instrument. So I'm gonna go over um, what chords I'm using first, and then I'll zoom in for the picking pattern. So we've got a C here, just standard C. This is an A minor. But because of the way the picking pattern is going to evolve, we're going to want to add either third finger or pinky down here on the first string, third fret. Still an A minor. We're going to keep that there for the next chord for the F. And then the last chord could be either G7 or G. I like a G7 better. If you just strum this, in the field that I'm going for, it's what I would call a 6-8 field, so it's... I ended up using my third finger for that high note, um, just because I started with it on the C, but you could use a pinky too, if that gives you a little more reach. The 6 8 feel is basically kind of like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, before being the loudest emphasis. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a picking pattern. And here's where it gets tricky because well, something I always run into on the ukulele is that this string is almost as high as this one, which is unlike a guitar. So the, the typical gallon and backup pattern that you use on guitar sounds like this on ukulele. It's not terrible if you play the whole thing that way. But it just seems a little weird that the lowest note isn't what you expect, the lowest note. So it's interesting how you adapt to that, playing all sorts of things on ukulele. So here's how I did. It's picking it from the third string. Now I have a straight down or up in pitch and back pattern that sounds like a six or 50s guitar part. zoom in and see that a little more carefully or a little more up close. Here's our up close view of my 50s picking patterns, ballad pattern on the ukulele. If you're curious, this is a Breedlove ukulele, Oregon company, sounds really beautiful, made of myrtle wood. And uh, I'm running through a Fishman mini loud box amplifier that's under my studio desk here. So here's the chords again. The C, this kind of special A minor. The special F. I want that on top so that I hear the picking pattern giving a certain type of voice leading, you would call it, which is more transparent when you're using a picking pattern than when you're strumming. There's my G7, so. Let's show a little bit more of the actual right hand here. I'm getting that little dead note a little bit on the high. That's because I'm holding the ukulele up further than I normally do. So sorry about that. So I've added another thing to my ukulele arsenal that makes screwing around and practicing more fun. Thanks for watching.